Hi, um, today I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration on Excel. I'm going to go over some of the very basic functions of addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, I just want to uh, give you the basics, kind of get you familiar with Excel, and uh, be adding more and more of these and try to make it more and more complicated and give you more sophisticated uh, tips and tricks as we move forward. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started first with the uh, addition. I just want to, you know, show you here. A bigger. Okay. So there's two ways to do addition in Excel. One is to just add one or more cells together. And those cells can be pretty much anywhere in the workbook. And then the second way of doing it is to add continuous cells. So I'll uh, show you that as well. There's two different ways. So the first way, add one or more cells together. So we can have cells all over the place. So I'll just go ahead and add some arbitrary numbers. Put 43 here, 34 there, right? 26, 43, well, 43, 67. And I'll put the result here and I'll say, equals, that's how you start every function in Excel, equals, and then I can just go ahead and highlight the cell, and then say plus, just add a plus, that, plus, that, plus, that, and then just hit enter, and boom, there you have it. You have all the, all of these are being added together in this one, and if you want to, if you don't remember which ones you highlighted, you can double click this, and it'll show you the colors in the highlighted cells and show you the formula in here. And as you can see, if I go ahead and change this, it changes the results instantly and everything is working perfectly together. So that's, that's one way of doing it. We want to add multiple cells from any area of the worksheet and do it that way. The other way of doing it is to add continuous cells together. And that means they're all either going down the column or sideways in a row. So let's just do a let's just do some here: 54, 67, 89, 91, 43, 22. And then below all that, I'll put the result equals. And now we'll use a different function. This one's called sum. And you open parentheses and you just basically highlight and drag. And click enter. You don't need to close the parentheses. Once you hit enter, it automatically knows that you're done. And then I'll go ahead and just enlarge this for you to see. And if I highlight this, double click it, it shows you the formula sum parentheses g4 colon g9, which is basically g4 through g9. And it shows you all the cells that are highlighted. And again, if I change anything, does it instantaneously, and everything is working perfectly. You can also do it sideways, as I mentioned, so 43, 22, 56, 87, 88, again, equals, how you start everything, sum, open parentheses, drag the cells, enter. And there's the result for that. And let's say you were like, well, I need to add another, another one here. There are two ways of doing it. You can highlight it and say, I want to start, uh, instead of starting on G12, I want to start on F12. And just come here and just change that to F, and it extends it. Now if I add a number in F12, let's say 100, this changes to 396 instantly. The other way you can do it, which is a little bit easier, you can drag, oops, not that way. You can get that corner there. You can just drag it. And then you can add additional additional numbers here. Wait, did that work? No, oh, that didn't work. Do it again. Drag there. Enter. There. Now they're all they're all being connected. 
90, 89, and there you have it. It's all there. It also shows you in the formula bar up here that you could uh, check that out. If it's a really long formula, you can go there. And when we get into more advanced ones, you'll, you'll definitely want to go there. So that's how you do the uh, addition. Um, I'll go ahead and start a new workbook. Uh, I'll do it actually in the next video. We'll do some, well, actually, I'll just show you here. Let's do some subtraction. It's very simple. It's basically the same idea. Just open a new sheet here. The, the same idea. The addition is really the one that's that uh, has two ways. Subtraction. Once you know how to do addition, you can pretty much do everything. So it's the same thing if you have some numbers, 76, 89, 90, whatever. You can pick any cell, pick those cells and just minus. Minus. And that's it. Negative 103. Pretty easy to do. Um, same thing if they were all in a row. I don't know if there's a my uh, like a sum but with a minus. I don't know if that made any sense. Uh, for uh, subtracting a, a lot of a lot of numbers all at the same time, but. Um, I have to look into that actually, but I don't think that's used very often, so I don't really need that. But that's how you do a minus uh, division, and I just want to show this to you for syntax purposes, so you could just see what it looks like. Zoom in a little bit on this so it's easier. Let's do division. Let's take. Uh, 89, oh, let's do something easy. Um, 110, or uh, let's do 1,010, equals 1,000 divided by 10. Just use the uh, backslash and 100. 1,000 divided by 100 is, oh, I didn't do that right. By D8. There you go. Working formula now. There's the result right there. So you do a backslash for that. And then for multiplication, you just have to know again the syntax. Multiplication. Notice when I uh, when I have a text that's overflowing, I can just come here, double click, right in the middle there, and it'll automatically resize the column. That's pretty cool. So I want to take 70 and I want to multiply it by 100. So here we go. Equals 70 asterisk. That's that's the multiplication. 100. 7,000. Use that to 90, 9,000. So that's how you do multiplication. So now you have the knowledge to do uh, a huge formula if you wanted. You can do something times something minus something plus something divided by something else. So you have all the tools now to do that. And just always remember that you start with the equal sign and asterisk for multiplication, right? Backslash, backslash for division, minus sign, easy, for subtraction, and plus for addition, or the function sum, which you could do, again, in a column or in a row. Well, I hope this was an informative video. Um, it is very basic information, but hopefully you got a little bit out of it. And uh, we'll go ahead and come up with some, some other things here. If you have any comments or if you have any questions of 
something that you would really like to do, but you're just not able to figure it out. Um, maybe I know how to do it already, so put it in the comments and uh, see if I can make a video for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.